Today we'll look how to create a QR code in Canva. It's totally free and easy to do. I'll also show you how you can modify it to add your logo to the QR code. You can add a QR code to an existing project or just create a standalone QR code. Let's start by adding it to an existing project. I have this poster here in Canva for a science fair. Let's say I want to add a QR code to it with a URL. To do this, I'll just go to the left side of my screen and I'll click apps. In the search bar, I'll type QR code, then I'll hit enter. We have many options here, but the easiest one to use is this one here. If you click the three dots, you'll see it's created by Canva themselves. So I'll click on it. And here you wanna enter the URL that your code will point to. I'll post my URL in there, just a link to a Wikipedia article. You can also expand it and change the color of your code, but I'll just leave it as the default black and white for now. Then I'll press generate code. And you can see it appears on my canvas. From here, I can resize it and I can move it around where I want. If you ever click off it and start doing something else, let's say you start modifying other things. If you wanna change it later, just double click on it again. And you can change the link and adjust the colors as you see fit. And that's how you can add a QR code to an existing design. Now, sometimes you see QR codes with little pictures in them, such as a logo. How does that work? Well, let's give it a try. I'm here in Canva and I'll create a new document. I'll press create. I'll do custom size. I'll set to pixels. And we'll do something square. Let's say 1500 by 1500. Now I'll say create a new design. I'll make this entire design my QR code. So once again, I'll go to apps. I'll type QR code, hit enter, click on the app. I'll enter the same URL as before and I'll press generate code. And let's resize it so it fits the whole canvas. Now it's very important to understand what's happening when QR codes have images in them. QR codes have redundant data in them that can help with error correction. This is because labels may get torn or damaged, but they still need to be readable. Because of this, we can actually damage the QR code a little bit and it will still work. But you absolutely need to test the QR code in this case. So let's add a logo to the center of this QR code. First, I'll go to elements and let's just add a white square. I found one here that's free. I'll click and drag it. And let's put it right in the middle like so. Now let's search for a logo. Once again, I'll go to elements. I'll type Adam. This one's pretty cool. Let's add it. Let's position it. And let's say this is my logo. So what we've done is we've blocked out part of the QR code, but we need to see if it still actually works. So I'll press share. I'll download it as a PNG and I'll call it QR code one. Now let's test it to make sure it works. I'm on the website scanqr.org. We can upload a QR code image and see if it's actually recognized. So I'll scroll down here and down here, I'll click this button to upload my image. Here's my file. I'll press open and it didn't find a QR code. This means our logo was too big. So let's try again with a smaller logo. I'll go back to the design. Now we need to make this white area smaller. We damaged too much information. Let's make it maybe that size there. I'll click the atom. Let's resize this, put it in the middle center it and let's do the same thing with the atom let's see if this one works i'll click share once again i'll download it as a png let's call it qr code 2 this time i'll go back to the website let's click the folder i'll click qr code 2 i'll click open and this time it actually worked so we can see in this case the logo was small enough for the link to still be found just remember to always test your QR codes if you're gonna to try to add a logo to them. If you have any topics you wanna to see a Canva tutorial on, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.